Hey everybody, today we are doing drum roll please. Paint 3D. And I will be teaching you how to use 3D shapes. Okay, so before we actually get into the 3D shapes, I want to show you something about 2D shapes. So if I make a circle, and then you see something under the obsessity, oh my god. And it says, make 3D, and it'll show you a 3D cube. If you click that, you wonder, what just happened? Well, what just happened is that you made a 3D circle that looks very 2D. <laughs> so you can make it bigger, smaller, everything that you could do when it was a 2D shape, but now you can do that, do that, do that. In fact, I'll make it look better. Like that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. So you can make like Saturn's rings or something. And then actually moving on to actual 3D shapes. You have 3D doodle. You, you have your 3D doodles. And you have two brush, t tube brush. You have soft edge. And you have sharp edge. Above that, you will see Open 3D Library. And we will get to that in one, two, three, four, five videos. <laughs> and then if you have Tube Brush selected, you will see Shape of Tube. You can make it a circle, a triangle, a diamond, a hexagon, or a star. If you go into soft edge, you will not see that. And if you go into sharp edge, you will also not see that. Now the tube brush, well, it's basically like, well, what would you think of a tube brush? <laughs> Just makes a big tube. Wee 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 wee. And and you will see a thing right here, as you can see and they'll tell you how long you can make it. And then you can move that back and forth and then a little, a little, its icon will show up and then you can continue moving it. Then hit the check button to say, yes, I'm done with this. And then the soft edge it's kind of weird and it took me a while to figure out how to do it, but if you just trace the shape you want to make and then you make it go back into here and voila, it makes a doodle. So if you wanted to make a custom shape, bam, you got your custom shape. And then same with the sharp edge, except the edges are flat basically. And so the edges are flat, so if you have a 3D printer and want to make yourself a puzzle, do that. And then under that, you will see 3D objects. Now that is just like 2D shapes. You do that and you make it. Except now it's 3D. This little thing on this side has its x-axis position, which is like layers. And then this is making it go left to right, left to right again, I guess. Then this is up and down. And then below that you will see 
3D models. It's basically the same thing, except it already has a model for you. So that's a boy. This is a girl. Uh, this is a dog. This is a cat. Meow. And this is a fish. And so, once you're done making your shape, then you can click edit color. And that's, of course, what color it is. And then this stuff is the same as the 2D shapes, but these are different. This, I'm not sure how to use, but this is copy. So if you hit copy, it copies it. Then you can hit paste, and it creates another one of the object you, want, you wanted to copy. And then trash can, kinda easy to know. <laughs> Delete. And so that is all for today on 3D Shapes and Paint 3D. Bye, <laughs>